I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, this video is going to be sort of a follow-up video on the first video I posted about my uh, buddy's DB Power D2 action camera that I did a lens swap on. Now this here is my DB Power D2 camera. Um, so essentially what went on was that lens, the first lens I swapped into it, it did not have an uh, infrared mirror in the back of it, so it didn't block out um, infrared light. So during the daytime, um, you, everything looked nice and pink, <laughs> and um, so yeah, that that wasn't gonna fly. So what I tried to do was I, initially I tried to sort of attach the um, infrared mirror filter to the back of the lens, which ultimately just, it didn't work out. But I did get some good footage of 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 uh, doing a teardown of that camera. The reason why I want to go and salvage that footage is I'm going to be posting soon a video of me tearing into this camera to replace its internal microphone with another one, and also do a repair to the lens mount because it was broken. So that way you guys can get to see sort of a comparison of how this one was put together and how that one was put together. So, um, I figured that, that way that, that way the footage I shot wouldn't go to waste. I figured it's going to um, start out with this little explanation footage. And I apologize for not getting the best views of things. I mean, there's some times where I'm like off the side, and it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to avoid sometimes when I'm working on stuff. I don't always look at my camera's display, and I definitely got to work on getting some sort of a mount for this camera. To, that way it sits like above the table. And gets a better view of things. But anyways, um, here's that footage. Hope you guys enjoy it for what it's worth. Hey everybody, this is gonna be a second video on this DB Power D2 action camera. Um, this is actually not mine. This is a buddy of mine's. Um, last video I swapped out the factory stock 170 degree wide angle lens, which is this one right here swapped it out for a more narrow lens as the owner actually would prefer something that's not quite as wide um, the owner is using the Wi-Fi functionality of this to um, watch his beehive it's, yeah, at least I think anyway he's a beekeeper so the issue at hand is this lens does not have an infrared uh, blocker behind it like most Lens, like for example, this one would have you see kind of the, the reddish thing there. Yeah, that's the infrared mirror, it's integrated into the lens. Whereas the lens here, the original camera that it came out of, had a separate infrared mirror, which is like this right here. And this actually snaps in between the sensor and the lens itself. And I think it may work on this camera. The thing is, however, we're going to, have to do a full teardown to get to what we need to get to. So, there you have it, guys. We're going to be doing a teardown and look inside the DB Power D2 today. And I wasn't exactly comfortable with the idea at first, but given I have torn apart so many of these things, um, or at least those two sports cams, which are constructed very similar to this. I don't really see it being too much of a problem. So, in the worst case scenario, I would pretty much just buy the buy the person or camera if I tear this one up. So to start out, we have to get in here and get at this LCD to loosen it. And that alone can be a little tricky. I may have to use an exacto knife. I'm gonna try my best not to scratch this thing up. And of course, I just took the battery out, as you may have seen. So the general idea is, you can work a very narrow object inside here, and you can snap this out, or snap it loose. 
Now, with the little sports cam, it was actually it held in with adhesive. Whereas this one, it could be a little different. So I've actually torn apart a sports cam already, and this is what the sports cam has on the back. As you may see, it is practically identical. It snaps open, and the piece that covers the LCD display should snap out. So, the thing is, the other day I actually opened up this camera. But I didn't actually take out the LCD, but in order to get the uh, PCB out, the circuit board out, I do have to uh, get the LCD display out of the way. So that way I can disconnect its ribbon cable. And with little effort, it just it pops right up. Gently work it out. So let's try that again. Unfortunately, we'll probably scratching this thing up just a little bit. Sometimes it's you can't really avoid it. My biggest concern, however, is making sure that the LCD screen is not damaged. The good thing, however, is I discovered that the DB Power D2 uses the exact same LCD screen as those cheap sports cams. So uh, if I do wreck this LCD, I do have a spare. But hopefully, wouldn't we won't need that. So let's. This comes off. Is out of the way we can now access the LCD display. I'm telling you guys, this is put together so similar to those little sports cams. And by sports cam, if you are not familiar with what I'm talking about, it's those cheap little uh, knockoffs on eBay that actually cannot record anything higher than. 640 by 480 resolution. Yeah, those things. Okay, so now the LCD is out, and this is the back of the main circuit board in a DB Power D2. So now I'll go ahead and come around to the front. We're going to pop the cover off the front. Now I've had the cover off of this one at least a couple of times now, so. It usually just snaps right off. Again, not exactly the craziest thing uh, of the thought of using somebody else's camera to practice on how to get into a how to get into the thing. This is my very first time cracking up a well figuratively speaking, this is my first time cracking open a DB Power D2 doing a full teardown. The reason why we're tearing into this thing, if I wasn't clear on it before, is we have to get out the lens holder. It has to come off the um, circuit board, so that way I can insert the infrared filter mirror. Take out these four screws and this whole thing Pretty much almost you know, all the internals of the camera will slide forward out of the casing. And again, construction is nearly identical to that of the uh, little cheap sports cams. So if we carefully work this thing forward, we've had to make sure we don't have a SD card in it. Yeah, we don't.
There we are. This whole assembly just pops right out. Okay, so now we're inside the camera. This is the insides of the DB Power D2. And when you compare that to the cheap little sports cams, there's definitely a lot more there. Go ahead and unthread this lens out of here. Now what's interesting about this camera is I do see a little daughter board here and I'm wondering if that's the uh, for the Wi-Fi. But as far as the Wi-Fi goes, once I thread this out, I'm going to show you something here. Okay, the lens is out and you can see there's no infrared filter. Now, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this filter here, the, the infrared filter mirror because the camera that this lens came out of actually had infrared LEDs on the front of it. It was a security camera. So perhaps it would still let infrared light through but perhaps block some of the maybe the UV uh, radiation through. I'm not 100% certain because at night when I was filming with this thing uh, the video looked fine but if during the day everything had a pink look to it and also looking at a fire in my wood stove, you'd see nothing but lots of paint because, of course, fires put off a lot of, I believe, uh, infrared light. Okay, so lens is out. There's the sensor. Compare that to the sport, the, the cheap sports cam piece of garbage here. Much better quality sensor in the DB Power camera. And my thing is getting at this uh, lens assembly. So what we can do, it appears that we'll have to take out some additional screws to get this front piece off of here. That also holds the battery. Now, as far as the wireless goes on this camera, some of them, they actually have a separate wire that runs inside through here. This one, however, has this piece of metal here, which I think is the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. So I guess if you wanted to improve the Wi-Fi performance, you could perhaps solder a wire to this and run it to whatever you wish to use as an antenna. Or you could solder you could solder directly to those two uh, spots right there. That's where this whole thing is is attached at. Okay, so that screw there and that screw there actually will release the lens holder. But we want first one to go ahead and try to uh, release this. Um, plastic piece. So, we'll go ahead and do that. So yeah guys, this is pretty much a full tear down of this thing. And the fun thing is I have to put it back together. <laughs> Which I don't think will be too hard. As I mentioned, this uh, this PCB here definitely has a lot more stuff on it compared to the cheap sports cam. Given this thing has to shoot in 4K at 25 FPS, it would definitely have to have some better hardware. So, if while we're in here, I'm going to mention if you want to replace your microphone with something better, that right there is where the microphone is. And it's a teeny tiny little microphone. <laughs> as well I mean it's 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 small and if you want to put something bigger in there you would probably have to run some wires and locate the mic elsewhere because you get this circuit board here which just appears to just be sitting freely inside here now it's interesting I see a WRT on there which would kind of make me wonder if maybe it has to do, has something to do with the Wi-Fi functionality of this thing. Not really certain on that. But now, okay, first I gotta lift this little PCB up and out of the way. It just lifts right out. Use care and caution here. And we don't 
damage any of these wires. And this whole contraption just lifts off. Okay, now this little PCB here is actually kind of glued in. And there's actually an integrated circuit on this side over here. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try to not disturb that, and also gotta use caution here because this circuit board is held in by a solder joint. It appears. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the lens holder. Just two screws, and it comes right off. I'll say two rather me looking screws. Okay, now that that's loose, we can should be able to take that right off. And there we have it. So, right there, of course I'm not touching it, is the sensor. We'll make sure we don't get any dust on that. Now here it looks like it, this is our main, there's our CPU or processor right there. Definitely a lot more than what you have in that sports cam. Looks like it actually, uh, now this, this will explain why the battery in this thing gets so hot. Well, this thing, this, the CPU, the, the, the processor chip, uh, obviously puts out some heat, and it's just putting it right up against the battery. That's not really, that's not a, not a really great design, I don't think. At least I think that's probably the, uh, I do think that's the CPU right there. It could perhaps be memory. I know this here is memory. It's a little bit of Samsung memory chip. Not really sure what this is over here. It's marked AXP, oh, excuse me, AXP192. Okay, so now we'll get to focus on the lens holder. So let's see if we can fit this infrared glass in here. I might have to actually do some trimming here. I'm not as uncertain on that just yet. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for your support.